Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install another Super Mario 3D ROM hack on your R4 card. So this is a ROM hack of Super Mario 64 DS. Um, it's actually really good and it's compatible on every DS console. All you will need for this video is an R4 and a PC to connect it to. So go ahead and take out your R4's SD card and then connect it to your PC. So once you're over on your PC and your R4 card is connected, there will be two links in the description of this video that you guys will need to use. Um, the first link is just the mod for the game itself. So this isn't actually the ROM, this is just the mod that we need that you will need to patch to the ROM. So there's a few things you will need. Um, you will need this original Super Mario 64DS file. Um, it tells you the one that they used. So if you highlight that, right click and then select Google search, um, you can probably find it quite easily. I've already downloaded it. But anyway, one, here on links, all you want to do is just click download. This is then going to let you download the mod file. So enter in this password and then click I am human. It's then just going to start downloading. The next thing you will need to use is the software to patch the mod file to the official ROM. So here all you want to do is just click download file now and it will start downloading. So once you've got these two files and the official ROM, head over to your downloads folder and here you should find all three. So all you want to do first is just extract this program. So to do that, all you want to do, right click and then select extract to X Delta UI. It's then just going to put it in its own file folder. You can now delete the RAR file. Um, the next thing you will need to do is another Super Mario Bros. Um, you will need to extract that as well. So right click it and select extract here. It's going to give you a few files. You can delete the logo and the instructions and you will need this X Delta file. Next thing you need to do is just drag out the original ROM into your downloads folder. So this is the exact ROM type and this is the American um, version as well. I don't think this works on the Europe version. So anyway, open up the X Delta UI, um, just the EXE one. Then head over to your downloads folder and what you will need to do is open the patch file this is where you choose the xdelta file so the mod itself now you need to choose the source file so this is the official rom which means super mario 64 ds trash man open that now you need to will need to select an output file so just click on this um, in your downloads folder and what you want to type in is this so another and then super mario 3d and then dot nds and that is it guys that's the name you want to give it and then you just want to click save then just click patch it's then going to say file patch successfully and here is your game so you can close out of everything and what you want to do guys you want to right click this file and copy it to the root of your rforce sd card and then just paste it So that is it for the PC. Now I'll head over to my R4 card and show you guys how to boot up this game. Right guys, so I'm back on my DS and the first thing you want to do is just put the SD card back into your R4. And then just put the R4 card into your DS. So then you just want to boot up your R4 card just by pressing A. And here you will find the NDS game, so you can tell which one it is um, because it has quite a cool profile picture of um, Mario doing a peace sign. So just press A to launch the ROM. The game should hopefully just load up as normal. This has full working sound as well, um, which is pretty cool. I'll mute it obviously because Nintendo copyright um, all their audio. But here it is guys, opens up another Super Mario 3D. You guys can just select adventure mode. Um, I'm just going to choose a new file. And as you can see guys, it boots into the game straight away at this really cool um, kind of haunted mansion. So yeah, this game's um, actually really cool. I haven't actually played it yet myself, but I've seen a few YouTube videos of people doing um, like speed runs and stuff like that on it. And it actually looks a pretty good game. So if you're interested in um, Super Mario 64 for the DS, 
and um, you want a different version to play, I would definitely recommend playing this. Right guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.